Well, I think you do start there. I mean, we have a tremendous amount of respect for Carly Wagner and um, what she's she's done there. Um, but obviously, you know, Kanisha Bell sets them up, uh, I think, for their transition game, which they're really good at. Um, and then they have pieces that are interesting. Um, now that uh, the big kid, the transfer from Iowa State, is now eligible, she's 6'5", and she's, she's a load um, on the inside. And um, they're, they're, they're playing differently now against Maryland than they were early without her. And what I mean by that is they're really uh, intentional about going inside, even more so. Um, so tomorrow it's going to be extremely important that Jen Anderson and Kim Royster and Darby Forsman and, and our fives, they, they have to stay out of foul trouble. Uh, but they have to present some resistance for her and some um, difficulty in, in getting up anything easy. Um, but uh, she's, she's going to be a load uh, to, to, to defend on the low block because she is 6'5 and about as big as Jen. And that's a, that's a big girl to try to move. Um, and so we're going to have to do a great job. And, and I think, like I mentioned, they are uh, more intentional about getting her the ball more so than ever. And she uh, did a tremendous job against uh, Brianna Jones, who all, we all know from Maryland, who's a really, really good post player. Well, I feel really comfortable with Jen, you know, being a, a senior and a veteran. And Jen always seems to rise to the occasion, you know, when there's a five man um, that uh, is playing well, and um, when they when the the team is um, is wanting to to go inside. Um, and and now it's but Kim but Jen can't play 40 minutes. Uh, neither can that young lady. Um, but uh, certainly Kim has to be able to come in um, and be more sound. Uh, if there's, there's one player, I think that this basketball, team's, this basketball team needs more help from is Kim Royster. Um, and, uh, you know, from, from let's start defensively, being more sound. Uh, her ability to, to be more conscientious about boxing out. Um, and then when she gets it on the low block, you know, to have some success in getting to the rim and getting to the basket. Um, and she's uh, at Penn State and against Ohio State the other night. It was, was aggressive, but turned it over, traveled. And so uh, we need more production from her. And uh, we've, we've told her that. Um, she knows that. And uh, she needs to come tomorrow evening, be a better basketball player uh, than she was against Ohio State. Yeah, they're, they're healthy. Um, uh, Amber Dean finally uh, yesterday went through a lot of non-contact. Today she was a little bit more uh, in during some con some of our contact uh, drills that we did. So she's progressing, I think, quite well. Um, but uh, Darby and Rhea are both uh, ready to go. I mean, you talked about Kim being important depth-wise. I mean, you guys have you figured out your rotation? Oh, yeah, I think, you know, we needed Rhea against Ohio State. We needed Darby. We needed as many bodies, you know. Uh, 37 minutes for Carling McBride is too many. And, uh, you know, she's not used to playing that many minutes, and that probably had a lot to do with the fact that she shot it. She was short, you know, especially in the second half um, because I just think Carly was fatigued, and she's not, not used to playing that many minutes. You know, um, Rhea normally uh, takes up about 19 to 20 minutes a game and gives us that other score from the outside. Uh, did a tremendous job at Penn State, uh, knocking down shots. She's a terrific athlete, gives, gives us a, another ball handler out there, uh, somebody that can make plays off of a screen. Uh, so we, we missed Rhea against Ohio State. Um, and, and then Darby gives us another post presence, 6'3", uh, six, six, uh, that, that moves well. Um, and uh, so we, we needed we needed every every person you know uh, uh, against Ohio State, and so it was disappointing for us that we didn't have our full squad. I don't know that the outcome would have been any different because we didn't shoot it very well. Uh, and then looking back defensively, we didn't defend as well as we needed to. Um, but uh, you know to have another, like I said. Uh, you know, a couple other substitutions that we could have gone to and given those kids breaks, I think would have been big for us. There's been a, the mindset for you recently in here in practice the past couple of days after losing one of the first time in a while, having a poor shooting night. 
Well, you know, that one of the things uh, about our team is, and again, this is, comes from our staff, is that we, we just maintain the mantra that, you know, we're never going to get too high over a win and too low of, after a loss. Uh, we're going to try to get better and, and uh, you know, stay pretty even um, with that. And we always talk about bounce back ability, you know, after, after a tough defeat. Um, and so it's, what's nice is that, um, you know, especially after you've, you've come up short, it's nice to be able to be home uh, and have, I think, your next, your next contest uh, because you're, you're in your comforts of your, your, own, your own surroundings. Uh, you're, you're in your own routine, although we're not in school quite yet. Um, but I think there's something um, that's positive and it's good for us about being at home tomorrow night after uh, coming off of a, of a tough loss. Right. They've been, you know, against Ohio State. Obviously, it was at Ohio State a little bit differently. But uh, I'll tell you, they had every every chance to win that game against Maryland the other night at Minnesota. Um, and as I mentioned, have just they're they're playing differently, you know. In that game, I thought that uh, they really really dictated the tempo, uh, really went inside. Uh, to their to their big guys, um, and it was quite different than what we've seen um, in a lot of their earlier games. So, um, you know, teams that come in here with 0-2 starts, you know, they're they're really desperate for their first win. Uh, road wins are very very difficult to get in the Big Ten. Um, so there's there's no question that uh, you know they're going to come in. I think with an extra bounce in their step, they're going to come in with some extra aggression, not only just to to uh, you know get that first road win, um, but uh, you know we uh, we obviously were one of the ones down the stretch last year that beat them, um, and probably um, didn't help their resume to get in the NCAA tournament. So. Um, and it's a great, it's a great rivalry game. I think these are two teams that match up well. Um, we've always had great contests with them, whether we've been in the barn or whether they've been here. Um, so two well-matched teams. When you talk about um, the last game, shooting was a struggle. Also, transition defense for our team. Sure. We, you know, we, um, so we came back after the next day, and um, I guess we took the day off. Yeah, we took New Year's off, um, and then came back the, the, the following day and spent a lot of time getting shots up um, in Assembly Hall, and uh, did a little bit of Minnesota, did a lot of film work. Uh, they needed to see, you know, some of our shortcomings in that Ohio State game, um, and we pointed those out and were great teachable moments for our, our group. Um, and then, uh, like I mentioned, got a lot of shots up, but did spend some amount of time on Minnesota and our prep. Uh, came back today and uh, got a lot more shots up. Um, and we, we uh, will expect them to play a lot of zone. So we uh, did some of that work, uh, zone offensive work for us. And then uh, spent the, the last part of the, our practice just really focusing in, again, on Minnesota. They run a tremendous amount of sets. Um, it would take us more than two days to cover everything that they run offensively. Um, and so we just tried to pick what we thought were perhaps the most used sets that they, they like um, and tried to get uh, you know, the most out of our time with, with that.